Hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about my first door I installed with John and my steps. So hope you enjoyed this video. So this is a picture of the door. The first door I got still in the box corners. And this second picture is a picture from a different angle. I bought this door at Home Depot. It was on sale. We were going to put a door together with plywood, two layers of three quarter inch ply, but when we, we talked to the guy, he told us that it might be cheaper to get a door already put together. So we went over to look at doors. This box said it was exterior door, and the guy seemed to think it was too. Concerned a little bit about cutting, but Anyhow, so we go, went ahead and got it. So John started working with this door, cutting it, putting in hinges, and uh, cutting out mortises, and checking everything out. And he he can he's going to describe what, what his plan was for it. Here we go. You're on. Okay. Here we have the door. It's 24 inches wide. 80 inches tall. We're going to use about 72 inches of that. And then we're going to split the door right around here where this will be floor level in the truck. Mm -hmm. So above that will be the main door and below that will be an access door to where we store the folding stairs and the right. cargo compartment it used to be the footwell. So once we split it here, there would have only been one hinge on that and two hinges on the main door. So I'm adding two more hinges. That'll put four hinges on the main so door. So that's what you're doing now, yeah. adding so hinges. I'm, I'm mortising out and I Let me look added at this. this hinge already by mortising in a thing like I this see. to fit the, the hinge in. Uh, let's see. So you have to cut out the door itself to do that, right? Right. Yeah, I see that. Right. And same thing in the jam. So let me see if I can get a yeah. little angle okay. from here. This is the one that it came with, yeah. but it, we didn't have enough, so you're changing them more. all out yeah. to a little, little different, but it's just fine. Yeah. Okay. And I brought some. So you can, are you able to keep fit. those there? And it's yes, just it turns a, out that okay. um, the axis of these hinge pins is the same. If okay. It's, good. It's right Perfect. Perfect. Whereas the bigger ball bearing ones yeah. I brought, I would have had a mortise into this right. as well. Right. Okay. It would have been so like this is a lot easier. Okay. Yeah. So if this works well and it swings well, we can just keep these. If not, I can change those to these. I brought plenty of hinges. Okay. <clears throat> so there's not much to see here, but you're doing a and lot then I'll of work add, on this it. This will be the doorknob. Right. And you're going to have a deadbolt, right? Yep. Yeah, so here's floor level. Right. This will be up to the doorknob. Okay. And we'll have a deadbolt above that. All right. And then on the bottom, we'll only have a deadbolt. Right. For Perfect. Securing the okay. stairs when you travel. Well, I just thought we would get a little update. That's the uh, that is the frame. Yeah. This is this is the door jam. Already done. And I screwed a board here because there's nothing. There's no threshold or anything right. on the bottom. I just put that so it wouldn't break apart. Right. Um, so it came with the door jam, so that yeah. was good, yeah. Yeah, so I just have to mortise these hinges into the All right, door good jam job. on the door. All right, thank you, John. Thank you for sharing <laughs> what you're doing with us. Check back. So this clip is how John extended my floor so my chair won't slide over. I can remove that little 2 by 2 board, which is in the way tripped on it all the time. So he brought that wood all the way from New Hampshire to a very thick, heavy-duty piece of oak, and it, it's working per perfect for a threshold for inside the door. So this is the inside. This door is completely coming out. That wall has to come down, and they'll have to redo the wall. So, on my last video, part two, 
I showed you how all the process we went through to get this pocket door out of the truck. So here's a little clip from that. Well, we got the door dislodged from the track up there. We cut out the track on the floor. And we the drawer just slipped down and slid right out. Door, we got it not out. attached to truck. Perfect. And I don't think we're going to have to move this sheet. Thank God. And we can use this for a wall. Put the door yeah. jam against. Exactly. Perfect. Wonderful. Looks like you have a new door today, D. Maybe. <laughs> I won't count on this. Okay, at least tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyhow, so that's what's left of the pocket door. Let's see. There was nothing in there which preventing it, but we couldn't figure anything out inside that was blocking it. But it would not open. So we got that out. So this door was not solid, it was hollow core. So John had to put wood in the part where he cut on the top of this one, the bottom of this door. Pull the door out a little bit, John. On the bottom of it, underneath, and the bottom of the main door. So, but he got it done. It looks pretty good. Let's see. Yep. Gotcha. Might have to trim that a little bit. That's the door closed. Have a little bit of a gap just here. Just hinge a little. And we have a little bit of a gap here. We're going to put a board in there. Yep. Uh, perfect. Okay. This is the top of the door. He was able to put a board in there. This is where he mortised the hinges. And these are the hinges that came with the door. They're a little loose there, I think. These are the hinges that he had to add. Um, they seem to sit in better and more secure. The jam didn't quite fit right. He had to do a lot of adjusting. Adjusting on the jams. And the wall is not straight for some reason. But so we have one, two, three, four hinges on the door itself. Try to show you everything about the door. That's the work for the deadbolt lock. And this is this is the handle lock area. Also, there's a deadbolt in the handle. On the bottom door, we have a deadbolt. You can see where he had to put the wood in to the top of this piece he cut off at the bottom. But it's separated. The first rain caused this all to swell. So it's all warped. Then it's also damaged through here. Well. You know, it is what it is. It will work till I get the new door installed. So this is the damage that the wind caused when we had the thunderstorm. This lamp up against this electrical box literally put a great big hole in the door. Uh, so I'm not happy with the door, but you know, John did everything he could to make it work. He worked really hard on trying to get this door done. Hey, Max. Go on. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down, good boy. I don't want him escaping, then he'll come out and try to take off. 
you go down to the manager's house and show up with their dogs and through their doggy door. So this is a force that he put in. It's a solid oak board he brought with him. It's very heavy. And this, this little board right here will keep it from in having an opening between the floor and the door. Go on. I don't know if you can see how heavy that door wood is for the the stairs to hook onto. So these are the steps. Okay, here's the steps. They're not hooked in yet, but we're working on that. Look, they're plenty wide. They have an automatic tread in them. Show us how they collapse and come in and out. Okay. I think they get off the side a little bit. So that's the way they're going to work. And then we just have to put it back a little bit. Yep, got to move it back about three inches, three, yep. four inches. Which and is it would perfect. Work just like that, swinging out. Okay, that's perfect. Fantastic. Pull it out again. Okay. <laughs> Put you to work, John. Yeah. Like you didn't have the enough. The easiest way I found is you squat down and pull the okay. weight back. All right. Because it takes a bit. It hasn't loosened up yet. Right. There you go. And you just check Let's left see. and right is okay. You might have to wedge a rock under one side if you're on uneven Here. terrain. I'll walk up and watch oh. your thumbs. Okay, I'll watch my your fingers. Watch my. I still feel my. There's Box Van D going up the steps. Once it gets done, it'll be perfect. But... There we go. What do you think, D? I love it. <laughs> wow, cool. You put in. They were not cheap. Four hundred and some odd dollars just for the steps. But they do have very good grids, non-slip grids on it, and it's also glow in the dark. You can see that glow in the dark. So we had it came with four steps. We ordered ordered the four steps, but four steps were really too much. So I had him take off one. I kept it in case I ever need to add them. So these are set up on very sturdy, uh, little different angles here, low step. <laughs> so this step comes from Torque Lift, Torque Lift International, hairs on the ground. They have a way to can loosen the steps to fold up easier. I'll get this on the tripod and show you, demonstrate how the steps work. So that's the brown stuff is seal, weather seal. I was trying to put the weather seal on the door before it had a thunderstorm. Right in the middle of it is stop it. That's when the door started to swell. So I'll see if I can show you the sunlight. Before I do that, let me show you the finished door. It's pretty messy. <laughs> it's messed up, but it's working until I get the new door on. So here you can see daylight. Same thing over here, very warped. You can see daylight all through this door. This board down here is keep the door from having an opening when it's closed. So Maxi won't slip down there and no rodents or animals can come up through the steps when they're pulled out. So this is the inside. I still have a lot of work on this.
Uh, you may not be able to hear me, but I'm going to try to demo. Raising up the steps. Hang on, let me get this set right. So the steps are out right now. And I have to pull them, make sure it's pulled fully. And once I, they're bored in here, it has to be pulled all the way out. So, so it's all the way. So then I have to take this, raise it up, and push up. And it's not really easy, but it's possible, it's hard for me. But I guess there's a way to loosen them more. He did loosen them. Once it's all folded up, push it back. Boom. So that door closes. I do have a padlock here. It's deadbolt. This is preventing it from banging on the wall of the truck. So that's the steps. When it's all folded in. And then I'll pull them out, show you how I pull them out. So, this board will have to be hammered down every time, I think. So I pulled this out. Oops. Pulled this out here. Like that. And I pull the step out like that. That's it. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get a little different angle. So there we go. And I'll show you me going in and out. I'm going to get a handle put on the door, handicap handle. So, this is me going in. This board actually sits down like that. There we go. So, oh, so much better. I have a nice, wide, wide space. Can fit my whole body in there. It's wonderful. So today, we're supposed to have a rainstorm. Yesterday, we thought we were going to have a thunderstorm. Sky's pretty clouded over. So when I thought it was going to have a storm, we had to cover my new door before it rained so it didn't get ruined. And it's under that heavy door, tucked under, so I can lift it up to show you the door today. I will show you on the next one. So there you have it. I got a door installed. I bought a lemon, lemon piece of crap door. And it's not going to work for long. It'll be fine for temporary till I get my new door installed. <clears throat> so I had to spend the money for the door. It couldn't be returned once it's cut. Anyhow, so, you know, that's life. Sometimes we get a lemon. Sometimes we get a apple. <laughs> Anyhow, so I had to spend a lot more money spend another 300 and some hundred dollars for a new door it's a butcher block door and i will show you in another video what i got and i'll do some of the build process 
I John had to leave, so he can't do any more work on my truck and for me. But I've been searching around, and I have a neighbor that's offered to help me put the new door in, get it ready to install. So that'll be a future video when it's all done. I'm going to show you the whole thing. It's going to be beautiful. And I've been doing a lot of little, th little things inside the truck, too, and the outside, like putting a screen on the window and building some shelves in here and making it a little prettier. I want to look at nice. Uh, that's a lot of little detail work I spend hours and hours and hours doing, trying to shoot a video of it. It's not easy when you're alone. You have nobody to hold the camera. And... It's not easy in small space to set up the tripod, but I do it. Anyhow, you can look forward to some more fun videos of things I've been doing. So thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe. Hit the notifications bell so you won't miss the next video. If you would like to help support my, my channel, check out the description below. I have links to my Amazon store and Teespring store. I have my PayPal link. And also, I have memberships on my channel for now. We'll see how it goes. I'm not loving doing the extra work to have memberships. But uh, people wanted me to try it, so I decided to try it. I do have 29 members, <laughs> which I thank you all for coming and joining my channel. I appreciate all, all your support. So, to end this video, I have to end it right. Make sure, if you know somebody out there that needs a little attention, needs a little love, is feeling down or feeling discouraged, please reach out to them. Touch their hearts with love. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.